hello you guys what's up welcome back to my video it's your girl baby okay me back with another video so my last video that i just posted uh, my female hygiene care video a lot of you guys had questions about this so this is an epilator this epilator had just came in the mail like two or three days ago and i said today is going to be the date i'm going to use it because i'm going to a picnic tomorrow i'm going to be having on shorts i just got my feet redone my nails done so in this video i'm going to be using this epilator and actually be showing you guys how i wax my own my own armpits so yeah so this is basically what the epilator is just this little thing and um it got a cord or whatever it detached so you just put it in the hole when you get it and it also comes with this little thingy jigger um that's if you like sensitive so but i feel like it take up most of the parts so i don't even do that i'm just like straight thug with it <laughs> i'm just kidding so i don't know if you guys could really see if my camera is focusing but y'all probably can't see but y'all see the little peach fuzz hairs if not i'm gonna try to get a video up close but i got a little peach fuzz hair on my you know arms my thighs and i just like to be smooth and all that shit so like i said i do all my legs and my arms so we're about to go with the legs. So they have like two levels. They got a two. I mean, they got a, a one and they got a two. Um, I always used to start off with one when I first started using it. And this is like little needles. I'm going to see if y'all can see it. So it go like this. And then this is, this is uh, one and this is two. So, so it's just like little. Why is my camera not focusing? Ugh. It's like little like needles that's going to be pulling the hair out from its roots. So I'm gonna start with this arm, and I don't put nothing on my arm. My eye exfoliate last night because I was gonna do this today, and um, I've been waxing and doing all this for a long time. So I'm gonna exfoliate after too. They always say wait 24 hours after you exfoliate, but when you're used to something, you're used to it. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna put it at one. So what I do is just. And it feels like almost like you get like a small tattoo. It do feel like uncomfortable, but as you like do one arm and you do the other arm, it's like a little more comfortable. But it does feel kind of weird. I'm not even gonna sit up here and lie. But it does have your arm feeling good. So what I'm doing is just going back and forth. And the way and then the way how you know it's working is you could feel it if if you in a spot and you can't feel it or it's like oh i feel weird then that means it's not getting no hair so you might not see no hair on you but that's how you know it you is in the right spot where it's hairs because you're gonna feel the hairs pulling you're not gonna really feel it pulling like if you was plucking i'm trying to explain it the best way it also like it's like like you know if you get a needle right and you just poke yourself like that it don't hurt but it feel uncomfortable like that's how it feel but it's very it's very worth it to have in a female hygiene because it's 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 way better than shaving my cousin has put me on and everything i never look back she put me on to this and i put her on to waxing So once you're in an area where you don't really feel nothing no more, then that means it's no more hair in that spot. But once you're in like an area where you can feel it, that's, that means it's hair in that spot. So it's kind of uncomfortable, but... Hmm. And I'm going to show y'all how it looks. can't really tell but it feels so freaking soft like it is so much better than shaving and it's so much faster so i'm about to do my ones because like i said i i got peach fuzz and shit over here 
So I'm gonna do my arm and this arm, then we're gonna move on to the legs. So I'm about to just speed up the video again so you guys can see. And I'm also going to be, you know, show you guys how I wax. Okay, so I'm finished my arms and it is so soft and I didn't even exfoliate or put any type of oils or anything on my freaking arms. It feels so freaking soft. I guess it's different types of epilator because the one my cousin got, it will show you like her the hairs or whatever. I don't know. But anyways, we're going to go on to the leg. Alright, you guys. So I just finished my legs and my arms, my booty, 
and everything is so 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 soft i can't stop rubbing myself that sounds so nasty i can stop touching myself because it's just so freaking smooth and i don't even have to put no lotions on or anything so if you ever get like one stubborn hair that act like they it can't come up you just get the thing and like just go you know like back and forth like this so you don't just do this you, you want to roll it back and forth so you can get the hair off like that so one out of ten the pain is like a one like a one if this hurt to you then you just like a weak link but anyways i'm about to go change my shirt and prep for my wax or how i wax my armpits so this is what i do for my body i um do my legs my legs my feet my thighs and my arms with the epilator it is so easy so good it is so soft don't leave don't leave you with razor bumps hair bumps and growing hairs and it actually lasts a long time this actually remind me of wax my legs and arm hairs don't come back until like another month or so so like next month in august i will be using this again again for my legs if i use a razor it will be my legs will be coming within like i'll have to shave my legs like twice a week if i use a razor so that's why i do not use a razor anymore so this works you know it takes forever to grow in and get all the hair from the root don't leave your ingrown hairs it's not painful um it can't cut you like a razor can it's very affordable i'm gonna have the link to this where i bought it from amazon in the description box so yeah if you have any questions leave me low but let's continue on with the video so i can wax my armpits okay you guys so i just want to tell you guys this real quick this is the wax i'm using it's a shit free wax so all you pretty much need is some of these that you can get from pretty much anywhere michael's 99 cents store would be the cheapest to get these they come in a pack i normally like using the big ones but i low-key ran out the big ones so this is the wax street you want to get the strip free wax so that way it'd be more easier it's easier for me i get this from my beauty supply place sally sell it target sell it and in amazon you know if you don't care about you know it's russian or you don't care about waiting for shipping but you could go in store and get this so what i'm going to be using is the removal wax just in case when I'm done, it's any wax left over. This is the removal wax. And this is the cleanser that I'm gonna cleanse my armpits with before I apply it. You're gonna need some powder. And I got me some baby wipes. So right now what I'm about to do is take my shirt off and I'm about to go warm this up in a microwave. It's hard. So I'm about to go warm this up in a microwave for 30 minutes. 30 minutes wow i'm gonna burn myself for 30 seconds and i'm gonna be back oh it feels so good i got the fan on me on three level three in the ac and my ac burned so good okay so let's get right into it i just melt my wax it's melted i just tested on my hand so it's not that hot but it might be hot when i put it on my armpit but this is how i did my shit so we're gonna start with this armpit I'm gonna try to get up the closest so you guys can see how much hair I have. Not that much, but you guys could see. It's enough to where it needs to get freaking wax. So, this is how I wax my armpits. You wanna clean it good. Okay. Then you wanna use your cleanse protection. The cleanse protection and all that stuff I got from um, my kit from school. Uh, but you can always buy some protection or whatever the case is. So, I put the protection on my skin like that. And the same way I do this, the lip, my wife will do the same for my vaginal area too. I'm just getting out two more ingredients that you guys will need after that will help you guys. So I'll buy this little powder because it just be for my arms once a month. I'll wax my arms once a month. So I'll buy this little one from like the travel size. Put it all over my armpits. And I don't have that much hair, but I don't know when I'm wearing tomorrow to this picnic. So I ain't gonna have time to be doing this in the morning because ah, Y'all make sure y'all be careful that shit is messy. I don't have that much time. 
my brother picked me up and I don't know, you know, what I'm wearing tomorrow. You know us girls, when we go somewhere, we be changing like four or five times. So, I'm starting from the bottom, lift it up, I'm gonna do the top, lift it down, I'm gonna do the whole thing and lift it. So, it ain't my birthday, but I could ball if I want to. Hey. Self-care is the best care ever. I think I molded it too much. You're supposed to mold it for 30 seconds, but then I'm putting it in for another 30 seconds because it don't be as melted. But right now, it is like a little too soupy. We're going to make this shit work. Depending on how you apply it, you might have to do it more than one time. Yeah. Probably like this. It's kind of ready, but it's still like sticking. It ain't my birthday, but I could ball if I want to. I'm a pushy. You could do like this and stretch your arms, but honestly, I don't do like that. I'm a thug. I just rip this shit. I'm trying to move fast, y'all. I'm scared. Sometimes I'm scared. What's your sign? I'm a cancer. Body built like a dancer. Shake that ass. If he a dirty nigga, throw him in a hamster. Come on. Come on. This is going to get soupy. I mean, hard. It's all over two way. Yeah, way. That's why way. Okay, let me talk about it. I'm waiting till this is dry a little bit. You wanna wait until that dry a little bit? Oh, this gonna hurt. Freaking thing, but y'all see that? Hurt. Yeah, 
pretty much got all of it. This leftover wax is gonna come off at the end when we use the the wax remover removal. But we're gonna do it one more time to make sure all of it is all the hair is gone. So this time we do the I do the whole thing. This is how I wash my armpits. Everybody wash their armpits different. I'm into waxing. I love waxing, even an epilator. In a few years, I'm gonna boss up and start getting a laser. So, you know, y'all know laser are a little too pricey. You know, BJ ain't got it like that now. Not to be wasting on no laser. So, in the meanwhile, this is how I'm gonna boss up. Hey. This is another cool thing to do when like you get out of a relationship or something and like just self-care, like just trying new things, still feeling good about yourself. Because a lot of women and a lot of my friends, well girls I know, they only take care of themselves like this when they have a D appointment. And it's just like girl, you're you're a woman for the rest of your life. You need to take care of yourself. Not only when you're about to go get the D, you need to take care of yourself regardless of the fact that you're about to go get D or not. Like, what the fuck wrong with you? Because me over here, I do this self care every month. Now, I'm still bald down there, and it's been. When last time I got waxed? See, that's how long it be. I don't even be knowing, but there's no hair down there. And I got something to show y'all that. You guys could put okay so that's enough i'll play like that this i got two products by gg y'all know i love using gg gg this is what it is i don't really use this no more because i'm used to waxing so it don't really be so tender but when you first start waxing you first get your bikini wax and um you wash your armpits you might be sore Okay. <laughs> um, so you might be sore or what or tender or if you a lighter tone, you might be red, real red down there. So this is what it is. It's post wax cooling gel. So after you wax, if you sore or whatever, just play a little bit on your armpits or whatever or your bikini or if you just if you go to the store and get wax and you come home and store apply a little bit of this down there because it will work the first day i got waxed i was the next day i forgot the next day where i was at but i was somewhere sitting down and i'm like oh she is sore down there i have bought this it's a post cooling wax it's like a gel and it's cool and you put it on there and you'll be good to go and this is another one i'm gonna show you after I'm gonna show you after but let's get this off. Wow, I'm not picking that up. I'm not picking that up. Alright, so I'm just about to I'm just gonna show y'all one arm pick and then I'm gonna do the other one off camera because it's pretty much the same thing. What I'll do is lift half of this from the bottom. Oh, it all came out. Yeah, all came out. Okay, okay. Then, it's just like a little hair. Like a little little bit of hairs so what i do is just go on with my tweezer i'm looking at my bottom mirror to plug all the little hairs that's still sticking out i'm just about to plug all the little hairs and i'm gonna be back so as you guys can see it is all smooth and clear but you guys see we still have some left over wax so that's what the I, to do. I like to be looked up at the mirror close up um, to make sure I get all. Okay. My sweatband just got delivered. 
can't wait to go to the gym tonight, y'all. I see my bones starting to come in, like, get into it. But, we just gonna scrub these over. And last time, a lot of times I use my exfoliator to get it off. But, and then this stuff actually have your skin soft. Yeah. And I would buy me a wax. You guys might be like, why you just don't buy me your homemade wax? I would, but I feel like, honestly, this way is the cheapest way because this little thing, you could actually um, reuse it. So when you're done with it, you just close it back up and next time you need to get wax, you reuse it. So it's no need for me to buy that big thing and I don't wax like my full body. It's just my armpits, literally. I go get my bikini wax professionally because I'm too scared to do that by myself. Like I said, it's all done. You guys could see the difference from this one to this it's clean it's smooth like a baby coche <laughs> okay i'm not trying to be loud because my kid is taking a nap but after that it is smooth clean all that so what i do next i don't need to use this post wash gel because it's not sore don't, it's not sore or it's not tender it's not bothering me but i do use this this is slow growth so I use this on my bikini area and my legs and my, well, not really my arms, but my legs a little bit and my bikini area. This is slow growth. So I just get a little bit. Um, it also smells good. It got argan oil in it. It's just like that. Then I just put some on my armpits. I normally do this at night because during the day, I like to use deodorant. It don't make you musty or nothing unless you're the type of person that just, you know, have a hard time being musty. But I just use this in my armpits and it stops the growth. Like it, it, bring, it grows your, it grows in your hair even slower than what it normally would already be. So that's why sometimes I'll be going almost two months without waxing because I'll use it. Sometimes I'll be forgetting to use it. I'll go like a week or two without it. But then, yes, get into it. So we're about to do this other one and I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys. Okay, you guys, so I'm done with my armpits. I'm so excited, so excited. And you guys might be wondering, could you still use deodorant after? Cause you about to leave, yes. After I put on my slow growth, um, after I put on my slow growth, which is this, you wanna use it every day at night. It's basically just, you know, grow the slow, grow, grow, grow the hair in slowly. So I put my deodorant on after under there it would burn a little bit so i should have that right away this one does this one does. so this is a hairs that i have from my right armpit and i already showed you my left armpit so yes i love waxing so much i love using the epilator like i told you all the benefits that comes with it and mostly why I like using these is because it grows the hair in slowly. Like I said, I wear long nails, so I can't be trying to open my lips do all that. So I wax my own armpits. Because my wife really could do it, but if I could do it, I should have saved myself some money. So I wax my own armpits and my butt and stuff. I use an epilator. It feels so good and it'll last a long time. So once a month, I go get my wax and I do what I just did once a month. That is it. It. So, I hope you guys have this. I hope you guys, I hope this video helped you guys um, in the long run. If you guys want to invest in an epilator, or if you're just a hairy person and grow hair so fast, or if you just hate shaving every three to four days and you could go days without shaving, especially if you're intimate, you got a boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is, and you know. Sometimes you just want to get in the shower and just head to your nigga. Or get in the shower and head to your female. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I hope this video helped you guys. If you have any questions, leave the comment section. Leave it in the comment section. If you're embarrassed about the question, the, the 
Emmy at Latrice with seven E's and two underscores. Bye, you guys. Make sure you comment. Subscribe. Don't comment. Subscribe. Okay. Bye, you guys. One more thing I want to tell you guys is when you wax and do the epilator, you want to be in a relaxed place and have the fan on. If you're hot and it's no air conditioner, it's no fan where you at, you want to wait until you get it because it's just going to make the whole process uncomfortable. And this is how, how much I have left. It's all the way down there, but all this will melt. So I could go again with this like two or one more times for my next. And all I do is do this and that's it. Bye, you guys.